even a little Chinese, uh, including the case here. Uh, but uh, we're going to take a look at it, and um, we're going to look at it right now, and then we'll, we'll I'll go back and, and show you after it's installed and I've tested it out and whatnot. Um, but uh, it does have 16 LEDs, um, which is cool, eight on each side. Um, and uh, it is very low profile. I, I, I can tell you it's pretty. I mean, this is the this is the case for it. You can see it's got the clear uh, clear stuff on it right there. For example, the uh, clear film. See the plastic case there. Uh, this is seems like a one piece design. Yeah, it, it's, it's a one piece design. Um, so it is plastic though. It's not aluminum. It looks aluminum, but it's it just plastic. Um, you know, it looks like the you get some flatheads uh, that can uh, mount in there. Uh, Nice and flush. Um, the, the holes are beveled well. Uh, it goes with all the hardware in here. Um, that's cool. Um, this is what I really, really super love uh, is it has actually connectors, um, which is nice. I mean, you can take it on and off, work on it, whatnot, not have to keep moving this thing around to do what you got to do with it to install it and uh, eventually end up breaking the soldering points, which let's check. Which aren't secured by anything here. See that? They're not secured. Some people will put like a, a blob of uh, some kind of um, uh, a sealant on there, not only for the waterproof ability, but uh, to be able to keep those in place when you're working on it, moving around over time, they come loose and then your product doesn't work anymore. Uh, you see that a lot, and uh, uh, this doesn't have it. So, what I'll end up first thing is doing is, is blobbing that. Uh, with some maybe some amazing goop or shoe goo or something of that nature, and uh, and uh, just securing those down in the spot there. Uh, overall, it looks okay. I love the connectors. Um, it does come with a nine volt um, uh, battery option there. Uh, looks like an on and off switch for that, which is cool. Um, I'm going to end up doing this in line with a, a lipo. Uh, and that way, th this will actually run from 3 volts to 12 volts. That's what this is rated as, um, per the instructions. So let's take a look. Yeah, I forgot in the bottom, it has some kind of instructions down here. Um, and uh, basically, you can tell that uh, it goes from, can reach up to 12 volt DC, but not lower than 3 volts. Nine kinds of flashing mode. Color colors are red, blue, and yellow. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Very cool. Uh, we'll put it together and uh, give you a review on it and uh, let you know how it works out, buddy. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to be, like I said, in line with my LiPo, which is, uh, you know, I run two cell and three cell, so it can go up to 11.1, .1, which is going to be extremely bright. Obviously, the more bright, the more power you put to it, the brighter it's going to get, which inevitably uh, shortens the lifespan of the LEDs. However, uh, you know, it's going to shine nice and bright, and uh, that's what my son wanted, and... This seems like a very low profile, perfect for a drift car uh, um, LED bar. Let's kind of throw this top on real fast and kind of see how it kind of looks. Sorry, doing it kind of one handed this morning. Let's see what we got here? Oh, yeah. Very low profile. Very cool. Very, very cool. It's a AA battery here. You see how? See the, see the width compared to AA? It's about, it's about half that. Very cool. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this is Brandon, Team LIK, uh, Offered RC. Just taking a look at this quick product. Uh, thanks for looking. See you later.